The first sign of hope for us is, of course, the Eucharist. We're taken back to that terrible dark night before Jesus died, when everything was falling to bits, and he made this incredible gesture of giving us his body and blood. But to think of the Eucharist is also painful at this time when many people cannot participate. And so I'd like to mention another sign of hope, which is children. God comes to us in a child. St. Augustine says, God is always younger than we are. I remember going to Rwanda during the genocide, and with one of my brethren, we went to his office. He'd worked in human development, and he saw that everything he'd done had been destroyed. And we wept. And the following Christmas, he sent me a card with himself and two big, plump Rwandan children. And he said, Rwanda has a future. The child is a sign of future. And secondly, in Lima, in Peru, one of my brethren, an American Dominican, was feeling low and he walked in the, in the slums of the city. And he came across two children playing jacks. You know where you throw the ball in the air and you have to collect the jacks. And they were laughing, they were happy. Suddenly he realized there was no ball. They would invented it. And he thought of God's creativity, God's playfulness, his spontaneity. And there was something of the divine there and that happy playfulness. So children are a sign of hope for us. And when grandparents want once again to see their children, it's not just to hug and kiss them, it's to be a sign of hope for the future.